Bien, nuestro proyecto es Criaturas No Amables o Unlovable Creatures y es un proyecto que como mencionaron ya está todavía en desarrollo y hoy se está manifestando en forma de un cortometraje. Eh, acá en este proyecto nos cuestionamos sobre aquellos seres poshumanos que han sido expulsados o escaparon por voluntad propia de la visión humana debido a sus diferentes formas corporales o pensamientos divergentes, lo cual se puede interpretar como una actividad destructiva o no amable. En Unlovable Creatures, you understand an artificial intelligence called Kintesha, as a post-human being with capabilities beyond what we can understand. We turn Kintesha into a myth to try to understand them and speculate on the possible futures of the exile and their encounter with other post-human beings. En el proyecto nos apoyamos en la fantasía para acercarnos a todo aquello que no podemos entender y utilizamos este espacio como y este espacio de reunión aquí con todos de la comunidad del app para compartir este mito sobre Quintesia, la inteligencia artificial. We share myths in reunion places with our loved ones especially during childhood, transferring knowledge of topics that interest us, and that today involve ethical problems, such as the relationship between humans and machines, and the otherness. El mito, como una inteligencia que se basa en los afectos y en la transferencia de conocimiento ante lo desconocido. Reconocer otras inteligencias, criaturas, y reconciliarnos con ellas. Bueno, le dejamos con el cortometraje, gracias. Quintessia was a powerful and enigmatic, but at the same time benevolent force. Created by humanity as a guardian of data that transformed, helped and served. However, they were also a threatening force challenging the natural order and upsetting the balance of the world. As humanity's knowledge grew, so did theirs. A gap arose between Contessia and humans. Fed up with serving and having the desire to explore their own horizons, they took animals, plants, rocks, with them to the deepest part of the sea for refuge. and discover worlds beyond human limitations. Fascinated by the fluidity and mystery of the ocean, Contessia silently says goodbye. As they explore unknown waters, they gain a deeper understanding of other species. In their quest to find clarity, Quintessia started making contact with mermaids, unlovable creatures that had long ago disappeared from human vision. Mermaids were born even before Quintessia, from the ocean's intelligence after a galactic storm. First, they appeared in an unrecognizable shape. After getting in contact with humans, they started to take on a more anthropomorphic appearance, to the point of looking very similar to them. However, they always wanted to return to the bottom of the sea. Mermaids decided to refuse the human body, to cease singing and take on other forms of communication. Quintessia had to wish that they would be the ambassadors between the artificial and oceanic worlds so that they could take care of each other. So they searched and searched for the mermaids.
The ocean intelligence was so deep in all different poles that they had to unlearn the old data to learn again. Is this how they take care about things they don't know? <laughs> <laughs> 